Hi everyone, this is Spring from IBM ECM Level 2 support team in Asia Pacific region. Today I will introduce how to develop a content navigator plugin. Uh, I will use a sample case to elaborate the details. Okay, let's go to the agenda. So this video includes three parts. Part one, uh, actually I will use a real world user story and uh, and to elaborate uh, our feature uh, I think plugin need to implement and also the high level design and the theory behind that. And uh, at part two, uh, I will show you how to set up I think plugin Eclipse dev environment and also some uh, a key class uh, and the JavaScript like plugin action plugin service and at the part three and uh, it's mainly about uh, configuration process like how to configure search template and link how to package ICN uh, become a plugin job file and how to associate plugin action to ICN menu and desktop and uh, last and uh, I will use a verification demo to verify that. Okay, let's start it as with part one. Okay, part one actually is a real world user story. Uh, suppose we have uh, Bob and Alice. And Bob, uh, let's go to the ISIN desktop. Okay, you can see uh, the number of action uh, actually is uh, in the border view of ISIN desktop. Bob select a folder and uh, he get an interesting document and he wants to share this document to Alice. Then he just right click this document and check the link and the view link. Okay. And he just send this link in the email to Alice. Okay. Then we just open another tab to simulate Alice. Okay. We just copy the link to address bar and enter. Okay, now we are in Alice view. Okay, what she got? She just got a waiver, a data waiver, and an old bunch uh, options on the data waiver. But she actually cannot do. Okay, like Bob, you can see the number of action he can do. Okay, like uh check in uh, check out and check in and also send an email something and bench of actions she actually cannot do she cannot do that right you just can see the content in the waiver and also number of actions options on the data waiver that's it okay um back to our slide so our requirement here so if they can do something more than viewing the content of they click the sharing link right such as um, uh, adding some uh, actions like Bob can see okay such as check out check in and download as original or as a PDF file yeah sometimes it's a very important uh, feature for end user yeah this uh, actually make a complete workflow for single document sharing okay uh, let's see uh, what we can, uh, we can uh, implement I think the theory supporting this feature actually we can utilize the search link sharing for the selected single document okay let's check this info center link Okay, so actually, uh, this is quite useful center link. First, you need to in the search view and create a search. Okay, let's go to a uh, search view, and now we just create a new search. Create a new search. Okay. Uh, but this time we select ID, okay, equals. But uh, we are not put any specific ID here. We just see 
the search tablet. We search single. We name that a single doc search. Okay. Single doc search. Okay, that's it. Okay. We can share to everyone. That is important. Okay. We now we just copy the link. View the link. We can also see that, right? Okay. We copy that uh, in somewhere else. Okay. As a base, so we can use a customer query. Okay. Uh, in this info center, uh, try to describe. So you can see here is uh, the customer query override existing query. Let's see. Uh, in your uh, search tablet, you specify a default value like a, like this uh, uh, state uh, equals Florida. But now you can in this customer query override this like uh, Maryland. Yeah. So uh, you also need to include something. Okay. Um, then uh, back to our slide. So the theory here. We can use the search link plus the customer criteria to override existing search link. So for our uh, search template, we just created, for instance. So we specify an ID, right equals, but we we didn't uh, provide any default value. But in the customer criteria, we will uh, provide a concrete value for the document ID. Okay, and then uh, plus auto run search. Okay, back to that auto run search equals auto run search equals true. That means actually when we open the link, we will definitely go to the result page. We will now see the criteria page, then click search. We will directly jump to the result page. Okay. And uh, so we can actually use ISIM plugin to automate all this process. Okay, so uh, so the workflow should be like this. That means actually we can use uh, the link we just copied uh, in a, a Notepad and save that as a property file. Okay, and then uh, we just uh, add ISIM plugin. Actually, ISIM plugin. You can see uh, include includes a number of components like uh, ISIM plugin action. This is a single entry point for any uh, request. Okay, and uh, actually is associated with ISIM manual link. Okay, then it just end user click the link or the request will go to the ISIM plugin action and uh, actually ISIM plugin action will. A reference uh, ISIN plugin JavaScript, and in the JavaScript, actually we call the ISIN plugin service. In the ISIN plugin service, it will get the doc ID from the request, and uh, then build the URL, search URL, a uh, complete URL. So, and the the UI should be uh, in a pop up uh, message box. It will show the final search link. And then Bob just passed this to Alice. Alice can see. Besides, he uh, she can view the content. For the view the content, she can also see a number of actions such as check out, check in, download. Okay, I think that that's it for part one. And in the next part, I will uh, introduce detail for the. Uh, uh, ISM plugin uh, development environment setup, and also how to code that plugin to implement this requirement. Okay, thank you for watching.